Q Compliance. Q Compliance is Cumulose's premium Splunk app for compliance and RMF automation. We sit on top of your existing Splunk installation on a separate search head or search head cluster. From there, we take your SIM compliant data and we extend that using our QSIM tags. QSIM gives your data the context of compliance and allows us to do analysis and visualizations based off of your technical information. We then apply that technical information up against your controls, including NIST 800-53, CDM, or any custom controls your organization may have. We can start at a high level looking at an entire organization, and as we dive down, we'll see the assessment or audit scores depending on what we've selected for our entire organization. We can see scores for our sub-organizations, and then we can get down to to specific systems. Systems are a collection of assets and we give multiple different ways we can define these systems. We can define them based off of OS, IP address, through a CSV, or through a system tagging where we do a Splunk query in order to determine what assets belong to what systems. As we dive into our system, we see the control and the control families that we have applied to our system. As you can see here, we have our NIST 853 controls, our CDM controls, both of which are included out of the box, plus custom controls that we've put in. We can continue to dive down and look at the control overview page. We can see the audit and assessment scores, and if we're running at a CCI level of granularity, we can see our CCI scores. When we finally dive into a specific control, we can see the audit and assessment status of our control. We keep a time-stamped record of our audit and assessment status. So by clicking on the audit or assessment status, we see what the finding was, the status, who audited us, and when. We can update that audit finding and status if we have the role of auditor. And roles are based off of the user, so it's a role-based access control, just like Splunk uses. We can also see the details of the control. We keep track of the human activity for the control. So for example, control records to show that a human has come in and monitored this control. These are also automatically created when we look at our continuous monitoring dashboard. We track POAMs, plans of actions and milestones, as they apply to our controls, as well as test procedures and implementation statements. Our technical controls show visualizations based off the data we pulled from your Splunk installation. For example, here we have account management related data for the ACO2 account management control. We can use this information to automate our audit and assessment statuses. We don't have to manually audit and assess every control. Instead, we can open them up in a search and use a custom trigger action that we've built into the alert tool that Splunk provides. We can add this custom control status. We can say that both audit and assessment are set to failed if any accounts are deleted. That lets us automatically audit and or assess our control based off the technical information that we're getting into Splunk. We also have a section for evidence. So if you need a policy or user list, for example, we can provide a link to that evidence or we can uh, upload a file and assign it to our control. We do more than just the controls. We also do the system authorization. We keep track of the system authorization and we can automate this authorization. For example, we can set the authorization to automatically be rescinded if the assessment score drops below a certain percentage or automatically authorize if it rises above a certain percentage. We do system continuous monitoring. Any of our technical controls that we set to the lowest possible interval in terms of frequency that it needs to be monitored are added to this page. And if we click on the control, it brings up the visualization of the control and lets us look at any of the information we need for that control in one page. We have a system actions page, which provides a number of different items that are requiring action and things that we can do here. For example, if we click on one of these, we'll see all the details of our system actions page. We have a section dedicated to SSP reports. So if you need to create a system security plan report, all you have to do is click the green Generate New SSP button. This creates a Word document 
that includes all the information we know about the system and includes the asset list, the authorized and blacklisted software, all the controls that have been applied, including the audit and assessment findings, and the control details as well. We have a security controls traceability matrix, and that will show us the details of the controls that we applied against our system. And again, if somebody needs access to this, just like an SSP report is a Word document that we can provide to anybody who needs access to it, if somebody needs the information in our SCTM, we can export this to, to CSV, XML, or JSON using Splunk's export tool. Finally, we have a number of frameworks built into the system. So no matter what your control scheme is or what you're using Q Compliance for, we have frameworks provided such as FedRAMP, CUI security requirements, or CIS critical security controls. We can bring up those frameworks and view the specific controls that are applied to your system. We can also work with you and our professional services to create custom frameworks to help fill out your needs. This is just a quick overview of Q Compliance. If you would like a more in-depth view of Q Compliance or need more information, please contact us at Cumulus.